On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a guan. A blessed and wonderful Wednesday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So, in the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So, please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica so watch this now my peeps yesterday marked the day when we celebrate love yeah man me I tell you the day where we call Valentine's Day the day when the ones and ones them supposed to extend a certain type of appreciation for any person that they deemed as a loved one whether it is a spouse your mother your friend a family member a co-worker whosoever you consider as a loved one so it should have been celebrated as a day of love but in most of jamaica's western parishes it seems as if it was mostly celebrated as a day of hate as criminal elements went on a rampage and the knockings and clappings and the brutal onslaught of Jamaicans continues. So we are going to start from the extreme western parish. Today we are talking about the parish of Westmoreland where a man was gunned down moments after parking his vehicle on a church compound at Garden District in White House, Westmoreland. Now, the man in question is presently on your screen. He has since been identified as 39-year-old Ardell Salman, a truck driver of the community of White House. So the police report relating to this knockings and clappings suggests that Salman had just arrived home and parked his white Isuzu motor truck at the White House Church of God of Prophecy compound when a blue Toyota Axio drove up and stopped behind him. A man then alighted from the car, brandished a handgun and opened gunfire at Salman. Salman then alighted from his truck and ran into his yard where he was chased by that criminal criminal element who continued to fire shots in his direction. The report stated that Salman then collapsed in a section of his yard where the criminal element stood over him and shot him multiple times. The gunman then walked out of the yard and escaped in the same blue Toyota Axio motor car in the direction of Bluefields. Salman was however rushed to the Black River Public Hospital where he was pronounced you know what. This is the second person to be taken out in a hail of bullets by criminal elements in less than 72 hours. On Saturday night, a 32-year-old construction worker who has since been identified as Damien Thompson was also murdered outside of a bar. The police are stating that they have no motives yet for both killings. My peeps, the thing really rough out of John shop there. Now in the neighboring parish, the war-torn, crime-riddled, violence-prone St. James Police Division, a man was attacked near the Harmony Park era of St. James. Now the man in question is presently on your screen. He has since been identified as Albert Reed, a construction worker of Roehampton District in the parish. It is said that Reed was traveling in his car when he was ambushed by criminal elements. He was conned up multiple times. Reed's body was riddled 
with a gunshot. I tell my peeps, the man them deal with the crime scene in a certain type of way. However, Reed was rushed to the hospital in a bit to save his life, but he lost his life whilst undergoing treatment. Now, my peeps, let me jog on the memory a little bit. Who remember who is really Albert Reed? Other than persons from his area, anyone I want to remember who really is Albert Reed? Well, if you don't, I'm going to take on down memory lane a little bit. January of last year, he had a 15-year-old daughter that ran away in the same community of where they're from and was staying with a 25-year-old man, a real criminal element of that area. And both his 15-year-old daughter and that 25-year-old boyfriend was brutally gunned down by criminal elements. Now, I'm going to play a small clip for you, just for jagging the memory, so you can remember who is Albert Reed. Listen. It hurt me. If you know, I call my daughter here, send must call me. A man, take up that responsibility there. I'm going to find my daughter in a bed, dead, with man where I talked to him about. And he's not ready for money, because I was 15. Now after watching that, who remember the incident? Now for those who still don't remember the incident, let me break it down for you real quick. Now on your screen is 15 year old Tony and Antoinette Reed, the deceased daughter of the now deceased Albert Reed. She was a student of the St. James High School. She and her 25-year-old boyfriend, O'Shane Spence, who is a known criminal element in the area, was cut down in a house in a hail of bullets in the community of Holiday Rock in Rohampton District last year, January. So Albert Reed took to the media and voiced his concern about his daughter that ran away and was staying in a house with this criminal element in the very same area. And he stated that nobody had told him that she was still in the very same community after making numerous appeals to her to come back home. So one has to wonder why Mr. Albert Reed was taken out in such a fashion. But anyway, make we continue. The criminal festivities continued to rock the police division of St. James as a woman who was said to be operating her motor vehicle was fatally taken out in a hail of bullets sometime last night in the Westgate Hills section of Montego Bay, St. James. Now on the spot news media has not yet gathered much information as to that knockings and clappings that resulted in the loss of life of that woman. But I will definitely be updating you about about that brutality in subsequent newscast and still in the St. James Police Division. The Barnett Street Police in Montego Bay, St. James, have launched an investigation into the chopping death of a man known as a garage operator at the People's Choice Plaza located along Jarrett Street in the town of Montego Bay. The garage operator is known around the second city as Dapa. Reportedly went to the apartment located on the plaza sometime around 1.30 a.m. The police stated that a male occupant of the plaza gave a report that he and other family members were at home when an unidentified male tried to break in to their dwelling home. The apartment owner further stated that he armed himself with a machete and chopped the alleged intruder multiple times. He lost his life on the spot. Meanwhile, residents of the area have said that the garage operator known as Dapper had gone to the premises to visit a woman of whom he had a long-standing relationship with. Now, if what the residents are stating is true, it is a rather unfortunate set of circumstances. But because of the rising crime rate and the ongoing knockings and clappings and the violence in these communities is why some people is definitely on the edge. But the man who did the chopping went to the police and gave his report. So make we say what the police investigation will conclude. So anyway, make we continue. Now over there in the parish of Manchester, the cool, lush, green hills of a place where them call Kendall. 
chaos in a Kendall. So the Manchester police is on the gruesome scene of a double murder in Kendall, Manchester, where this man and this woman presently on your screen was taken out in a hail of bullets by criminal elements in the wee hours of this morning, Wednesday morning. So preliminary reports from the police are that the pre-dawn knockings and clappings that took the life of the now two deceased persons identified as Sham, that is the female, and the male has since been identified as Marlon. They were both taken out in a hail of bullets on the Kendall Main Road when they were travelling home from a party. The road has since been cordoned off and traffic diverted as the police continues to process the scene. On the Spot News Media will definitely be giving you updates as we get more information into this developing story. So my peeps, I don't know normal business go on yesterday. Love and hate can never be friends and it would seem as if hate is slowly overrunning love in our dearly beloved island home. The late great Robert Nesta Marley had a song that was dubbed the song of the millennium some years ago that says one love but boy may I tell you my peeps them a dirty kind of boy them a criminal element here. some are no pitney some are no man some are no brother some are no cousin some are no uncle some are no grand pitney changing the narrative of one love to strictly Eight. Yeah man. Now over there in the neighboring parish and also police division of Clarendon, another man end up losing three pints just after midnight in the wee hours of this morning. The man was cut down in a community known as Sangrenity in Clarendon. The man presently on your screen has since been identified as the deceased man. 22 year old Kurt Douglas. It is said that sometime after midnight, Kurt Douglas was leaving a party in Sangrenetti district when he was approached by a lone criminal element armed with a handgun who opened fire, hitting him multiple times all over his body. He lost his life, same place, on the spot. Boy, me, I tell you, my peeps, the man them a deal with the streets, grimy. A place like Sangrenetti, how often do you hear that name called on this program? Sangrenetti are one of them little remote rural places in a Clarendon where not much to go on. Boy, may I tell you, say, the criminal elements them out in all their glory, no matter how remote the community is, no matter how far around and one place back around. So, the place there, the criminal elements are there. The influx of guns coming into our country and the rate of which it is done, may I tell you, it's doing more damage to this country than we have ever seen. Jamaica, boy, may I tell you, my peeps, the thing rough around a jan shop there. And still in Clarendon, this time, may pay a proper, a fruits vendor, end up get caught up by criminal elements are one of the most grimiest set of photographs I've seen since the start of the year. It come like a gunshot take off the man crown. It come like it's a well sharp 28 machine the man then use to hold the man at top bus off me I tell you. Yeah man me I tell you right across the top of the man eyebrow there's a bus from ears corner to ears corner come right round and it's never a machine man deal with the fruits man in a them type of way there. It's a Gun man, may I tell you, grimy, grimy scene. So the information surrounding that brutal knockings and clappings of Fruitsy is sketchy at the time, but as always, on the Spot News Media will gather the necessary information and bring it to you, the regular members of Chan Public and members of the diaspora, in subsequent newscast. And I've been asked, I've been approached many times via email and text messaging that I should 
create a platform where persons can view some of these videos and get some of the pictures that is not allowed on YouTube. So I have heard your request and I will be answering to your call no later than this weekend. So very soon you will be seen on your YouTube screen when you tune in to On The Spot News Media. Join. When you press that button, you will see the instructions that you can follow that will allow you to get certain perks when you become a member of the channel. I will also create a Patreon account for you who wish to be patrons of On The Spot News Media. That too will also bring a set of perks where you will be able to see all those type of videos. You will be able to speak with On The Spot News Media one-on-one. -on -one. You can enjoy all the perks which will be listed once you become a member of the channel so everything will be in that membership as soon as you join and you will see all the perks and all the benefits of being a member of the underspot news media family so anyway my peeps remember to like share subscribe to the channel stay tuned to on the spot news media as i continue to bring you fresh news and updates in a subsequent newscast on the spot news media yeah man